Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and this morning we're visiting with Kevin Lyons. He's the Monroe County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Kevin, spring is here. Everybody's excited about gardening and things like that, but we always need to talk about pollinators. And, you know, here lately it's been really popular to have even a pollinator garden. Yeah, it, uh, it seems like it's the, the kind of a trendy thing, if you want to put it that way, but it's a very important thing, too, to have those pollinators around. But you hear a lot in the news about pollinator gardens, and of course this is a, a prime time of year for needing those to uh, help with our pollination of our fruit trees, our flowers, all those uh, plants that need some type of cross-pollination. Uh, so, and it's a great uh, public relations tool for uh, communities and parks and uh, local governments and things like that to have a, a pollinator garden. It's uh, environmentally friendly and mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's a great, uh, you know, a public relations campaign. It's, a lot of uh, organizations are putting that in. It's, it's kind of a draw and, and, and to show people that they, they care about the pollinators, care about our environment, which we all do, but you know, sometimes you just gotta let people know that. Yeah, make a little extra effort to mm -hmm. do that. Now, a lot of times when people think about pollinators, though, mm -hmm. they only think about bees, mm -hmm. but there are, bees are certainly an important pollinator, but there are others as well, right? Yes, there's uh, uh, all types of bees, you know, the honeybees, bumblebees, carpenter bees, like you said, all those types. And sometimes uh, maybe we tend to think of some of those as a, as a nuisance type, <laughs> but they're not. Uh, you know, people don't like carpenter bees boring into their uh, decks and things like that. So, uh, but they all have a place in the system. But there's also uh, things like hummingbirds, uh, even bats, small insects. Uh, uh, all those uh, small birds and butterflies. And, and butterflies mm -hmm. are a big component of of the of the pollinator garden, and uh, sometimes they're even called the butterfly garden. Yeah, and but, who wouldn't want butterflies and right. hummingbirds? <laughs> now maybe leave out the carpenter bees. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> hummingbirds are amazing. If you they just are. kind of sit and watch them, they they're just. Uh, amazing what they can do and you know the wildlife specialist was here last week and he said they're they're already here and i don't have my feeders out but i mm -hmm. see that that you brought one in, and is this just a good way for us to attract them into it our is area? Uh, it is very much this is kind of a, a typical setup it does have something i hadn't noticed before the little perch, little perch. To sit on. <laughs> uh, i thought they would just hover there like a little helicopter and but apparently the most of them have a little a uh, little perch like a some luxury right. hummingbird feeder I there. This is deluxe. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that's kind of typical. Uh, and it's basically sugar water. I mean, you can get the mixes and you can get a uh, liquid, but you can find the, the formulation or the recipe online for just mixing up a simple top sugar water with maybe a little preservative in it to keep it from going uh, bad. Uh, real simple, but it helps attract them. It helps, uh, they like everything else. They need food and energy. Mm -hmm. uh, but then while they're around, they'll help do the job of pollinating your landscape plants, your orchard, uh, whatever. And then, uh, but they they just add a lot uh, to the home landscape as well, the, the little hummingbird feeders. And um, we've got some different publications on bees and uh, how important bees are, we all know that. And there's different kits you can get if you want to attract bees, uh, besides just the beehive. So there's, it's wide open on, on those type of things. And you know, Kevin, another thing, and it's just a little off subject, but sometimes if people go out and they see a swarm of bees, mm -hmm. they get alarmed. They do. And, but, but they can call a beekeeper and mm -hmm. they will come and capture them for them and then no harm will come to the bees, right? right? That's exactly right. And there'll be, there'll be somebody that would appreciate that call because sometimes the they'll get some overwinter kill on your beehives. You may not have uh, all the bees that you would like to have in your hive, and that is a great way to replenish your numbers. Uh, but uh, if we always say call your extension agent, and mm -hmm. you'll see that. Uh, if you'll call your extension office, they'll put you in contact with somebody local that can come and catch that swarm for you. So it protects the bees and helps that uh, beekeeper as well. Absolutely. So, and a lot of times this time of year we see those. Yes. So make sure to call the yes, office. They're, they're starting to appear. Now you mentioned another publication here that you have, and, and that's where we can plant plants that mm -hmm. attract some of these pollinators. That's right. They, uh, of course, every uh, plant doesn't have to be cross-pollinated. Some are self-pollinated, but I think uh, the vast majority need some type of cross-pollination, either with a uh, insect, bird. Uh, the wind, something along that line. 
Uh, but we have a great publication on how to lay that out and the varieties that are uh, recommended for those, uh, the different types of plants that are recommended for those. All right, Kevin. Well, I hope everybody's excited about maybe planting your own pollinator garden or adding some of these elements to attract them in. But if you have any questions, make sure to contact us. Thanks for watching and have a great day. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.